do a little bit more band work today. And about. So I want to try and replicate a little bit of if we had like a step or something to put our foot on. You could do this. In fact, oh no, I can't. I can't really show you what I mean because my step is being used to prop my laptop up at the moment. But I could show you with this what I mean is if you had a staircase. So I'm trying to remember to show you with that as well. Excellent stuff. Good to see everybody's on. No trouble today. Hopefully uh, Wix is firing on all cylinders this morning then. <coughs> Take those shoes off. Don't need them for a nice stretch. So guys, let's just take some nice side bends. Get those feet shoulder width apart. Heels grounded on the floor. And just in case we're not warm, we're just gonna take a step out to the side, bring it in. Nice and gentle on those feet. Keep those heels down. Warm up those leg muscles. So we're going to do a lot on the feet again today. I wanted to show you some release as well, but I can't actually see my little mini ball anywhere. But if you have got like a tennis ball or something, I will talk you through some exercises that you can use that for. Hold it here, reach up, bend, up, swing it down, up, side and swing up remembering to breathe nice deep breath roll that back as you come down really float through that body really feel like we need this today team even though we've had a few less workouts this week the body is starting to fight back, huh? Open those arms out. Just take some nice rolls here. Start to slowly bring them up, coming past those ears. Hold them wide, come over. Feet are still under those hips. We're not gonna move them. Not yet. One more on each side. Circle back round. Really allow that chest to open as those arms come all the way back. any tension, bring those shoulders back down away from those ears, take them along and over. Bring it back, reach up, swing down, over to that side bend. Down. One more swing. Full circle back. Two more. Stop halfway, take it over that head. Back into that swing. Over. Swing down. Roll those arms back, control that chest. Come halfway, take it over that head. Bring 
bring those arms down, roll those shoulders off, shake the arms out. Take those fingers together, push those palms away, allow the head to draw. Let's start at the top this morning. So lengthen that neck, head is down, chin into chest, pushing away through those fingers. Just show you my hands. Okay. Pushing all the way away, lengthening. Feel that spine getting longer. Keep that core steady. Roll that back a little bit further. Come up above the head. Take it into a bend if you feel comfortable. Keep that core engaged. Just feet under those hips. Come back up to centre. Pulse it to the side. Three, two, one. Change it over to the other side with a roll through. Four, three. Still pushing those palms to the ceiling. One, bring it down. Roll it off. Let's do that again. So take those fingers forward. Push away. Drop the head. Roll that back open. Really feel that lengthening all the way down. You should, if you've got any tightness in your back, you're going to feel this all the way down into that lumbar region. If you can't feel it, just see if you can just arch that back a bit more. Keep those shoulders pinned away from the ears if you can. Chin into chest. Inhale. Inhale to come up. Control that tummy, zip that belly button in if you're going for that bend. Pump her up to the ceiling. Keeping that head between those arms. Bending back. Squeeze that butt for support. Keep those heels pushed down into that mat. Take it over to that side for four pulses. Three, two, one. Swing to the other side. Three, two, and one. Bring those arms down. Take that neck over to the side, bringing that ear down towards the shoulder. Feet are still under those hips. Come up to center and take it over to the other side as you exhale. Feels a little bit inappropriate that I've left the disco light on for a stretch. Bring it back in center. Drop that chin down to the chest. Again, lengthening that back. Feel that down between those shoulder blades. Who's going to tell me I've got no sound on or something? No, we're okay. Keep that chin down. Okay, and we're just going to roll that neck halfway. Bring back that ear. Back into the center. Same side again, just from that middle. Ear comes to shoulder. Back down into center. Two more this side. Last one. Hold that center. Engage that core other side. Roll it out. Ooh. This is why we're doing it this way this morning. So much tighter down this side. Can you feel the difference? So we're just going halfway. And instantly I know which side of the body needs more work today than the other. So we're just going from that chin in the middle, bringing that ear out to the shoulder. One more. Roll it back in. Lift that head slowly, roll those shoulders back and down away from those ears, tuck that chin in. Engage that tummy, rolling down the body. Walk those fingers down those legs. Keep the control. Keep that chin tucked in. Rest halfway on that thigh. Roll out halfway. Soften those knees. Allow the back to rest here. Feet are under those hips. Tuck that pelvis back under. Roll that back. Rolling back up. 
chin is tucked into chest, lengthen those legs, rebuild that spine, chin comes up last, shoulders are back and down, deep breath, inhale, roll it back down, let's give that spine some love. Halfway, straighten that back here gang, feel that lengthening all through your back, soften those knees, tuck that bottom under, roll yourself up, keep that chin in, shoulders come back once the spine is straight, the head comes up last, we inhale, and if you're ready for a full roll down this morning, walk those legs, those legs down those heads, those fingers down those legs, keep that core connection, nice and slow, feel each vertebrae as it separates, and as you come further down, keeping those legs straight without locking the knee, feel that stretching into those hamstrings, the back of the thigh, and getting into the calf, into that soleus and the gastrocinemus. Not that you care what they're called, but just in case anyone does. <laughs> they're all the muscles in your calf and going down to where that Achilles tendon is. Okay, so we're not actually stretching the tendon, we're stretching the muscle that's in the... Hold it here a little bit longer. A few more seconds, let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. Soften those knees just slightly. Tuck that bottom under. Roll yourself back up. Nice and slow. Keep that chin in. Rebuild the spine gently as you go. I want it nice and slow and controlled this morning. Really focus your mind on how your body is feeling. Shoulders back. Head comes up, roll those shoulders back before you go back down, get them away from the ears, chin in, feet are still flat, walk those fingers down, roll that back, keep that tummy engaged to protect your spine, keep that bottom tucked underneath your pelvis as you walk down those hands, nice and slow, feel that space opening up in between all those vertebrae. All the way down to the bottom, straightening those legs the best you can. Allow the arms to go heavy. Nice deep breaths in through that nose and out through the mouth. Two more seconds down here, team. Soften those knees, slowly rolling back up. Tuck that bottom under. Focus your mind on your spine, rebuilding itself. Get that core connection in. Shoulders come back, the head comes up last. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've just added about five inches onto my spine this morning, team. Taking that foot forward, step into a lunge, keeping the back heel down, both feet are forward, keep that chest lifted, get comfortable in that calf, raise the arms, hold that stretch, make sure both of your feet are on that train track with your hips, if you're feeling off balance, check where they are. Make sure both feet are facing forward. And we're going to open over that bent knee today. So unlike your typical warrior, we're going the opposite way. And we're deepening that stretch in the back of that lengthened leg. And we're starting to work on some spinal mobility here. Open that chest up. Hands are in line with those shoulders.
bring it up to center. Bring those hands down into that sternum. Hold it here. Turn those hands down, take a roll forward, down towards the floor. Bring those arms down in between those legs, still bending at that soft knee. Bringing those hands down onto the mat. Can you take the hands a little bit flatter? So you should still be feeling this in that calf and you might get that in your glute here. Roll yourself back up. Bring those hands back to a close. Back into that sternum. Up to the ceiling. And we're going to open out into your warrior. Turning that back foot. Open it out. You're getting my rear view, I'm afraid. Leaning forward on that knee. Take a nice reach so that allow those knees to come over that second and third toe. That back foot is forward of the body. Looking at that eye line through those fingertips. Bring it up into centre. We're going to lower back down and open out the other leg. Now you can see why I'm going backwards for this. It's a bit easier to demonstrate. So that foot comes forward. This foot, front line with the body. Turn that foot out. Arms parallel with the shoulder. Lean into that knee. Allow that knee to soften over that second and third toe. Keep that heel down. Bring the arms up into prayer. Turn that back foot round. Feet are on a track. Your train track, remember. Get that balance. Shoulders are down from those ears. Bring it all the way down to the sternum. Roll those hands down the body. Come down between those feet, onto the mat, leaning into that front knee, hands come flat if you can, don't let that back foot stray off, get it facing forward, that heel is down, if you need to stop halfway down to the floor, that's absolutely fine, again, this is definitely the tighter side today, this is right in my butt, and that back of that thigh, as well as in that rear calf. Bring the hands back together, control that core. Bring them back up, roll up into that sternum. Take them up, get that balance. If that foot's not wide enough, reposition yourself. Open those hands, look over that shoulder. Back heel is still down. My feet look a bit squiff on camera, but it's my, um, it's my laptop angle. So looking over at that back hand, fingers are shoulder, nice straight connection, still got that back foot on the floor, bring it up, close it in, lower down, bring those hands down, just rest into those heels if you can, if you've got something that you want to hold on to, you can really lower yourself into this, so you can really get in the backs of those ankles. I'm just waiting for the stair gate to ping out of the wall. You could use a chair for this. But if you're using just your body weight, just go as far as you can that feels comfortable. Maybe take your hands to that mat. It's entirely up to you. Make sure whatever you're holding is relatively sturdy. You don't want to topple over. Allow the back to just collapse into it. Drop the head. Roll yourself back out. Lengthen those legs. I basically spend my week thinking of what weird and wonderful things we can do in a stretch. That's like my life. <laughs> But I do like to try and come up with something a little bit different for you every week. 
Roll yourself up slowly. Make sure you tuck that pelvis under. So, before we go down onto the floor, I just want to put you through some different things that you could do today. So imagine you're on your stairs. I don't know how this is going to work because it's a bit squidgy. Squidgy, is that a word? Squishy. But imagine this is your bottom step on your stairs. I want you to take your foot on there and just allow your heel to overhang the stairs. In fact, I'm actually going to come over to a wall because I want to show you the full range of this. It's going to be a bit far away. But you could take both feet on the stairs and allow your heels to overhang those stairs. But for right now, if you haven't got a step, stair or anything else available, let's come to this wall. I want you to lean against your wall. Take your feet back. So you're about a 30 degree angle. Or whatever feels right. Both heels on the floor. Push those hands as hard as you can into that wall. You want to keep a nice connection in that core. Keep that tummy strong. Squeeze that bottom just to protect you from sagging that back. If that doesn't feel enough, take those legs a bit further away. Take those hands a bit further down the wall. And just go in there until you get a nice deep stretch in that calf. Your feet are hip width apart. So you've got an option here. If you haven't got much wall space, you can stand on your staircase and let your heels overhang the bottom step. Really nice way to just get some quick lengthening into the back of those ankles and into those calves. Everything's connected, remember. If it's tight at the bottom, it's probably tight in the middle and the top. A few more seconds here, guys. We want a nice sort of 40 second stretch here. Come up onto those toes and just bring that weight. So you've got the heels off the floor now and I want you to feel this oh, right into those tight feet. So think about that mind-body connection now. Where does it hurt the most and what is it connected to? Let me explain. So we already observed at the start of the class I was tighter on one side of my neck than the other. So I had one tighter shoulder than the other. As we worked our way down, I had one tighter hip, one tighter leg than the other, one tighter glute than the other. Now we're here, we have one tighter big toe than the other, and it is the same side, okay? So when I'm talking about how everything connects to each other, this is what I mean. So quite clearly this week, I've danced a lot more through my left big toe. And that probably means I've got a misalignment issue somewhere on that side. I maybe have a weakness and I'm rolling my foot more into the inside of that foot. Whatever it might be, that's a postural thing. But that's going to be my goal now for the next few weeks is to figure out why I'm getting tight through that toe. And then it's having a knock-on effect everywhere else. Roll down through the feet. Roll them back down onto the mat. Heels come back flat. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. You can use this as a real like foot massage. So we're holding these stretches for a good 40 seconds, potentially longer, I'm not counting, I'm guessing, based on how long I waffle in general. Okay, already we start to feel those calves loosening off. Keep pushing those hands into that wall. Maybe you're using a chair. Roll back up onto those toes. Oh really press into them where's that tightness maybe you want to roll the foot slightly outwards and inwards just roll over those feet where are they tightest get into the ball of that foot let the ball of the foot roll along the floor so I can't really show you from this angle but if I show you you stay where you are so this is your floor this is your foot my fingers are your toes, and you're gonna roll through the ball of that foot. So this is the ball of your foot, these are your toes, okay? And you're rolling through, so front view. So you can just slowly roll from side to side and just 
feel that loosening off. Oh my goodness, it's like absolute heaven. So I've massively overrun this morning. <laughs> that was already like a 30 minute stretch. So I'm just going to add another track on because I just want to do a little bit more with you today. How did that happen? How is it 12 o'clock already? How long have I gone on for? <laughs> right, get your bands. Let's quickly do some band work before it's like midday. <laughs> Not midday, one o'clock. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, I'm sorry, but your feet will love me for it. <laughs> so we're going to come down into a seated position. I'm just going to go side on so you can really appreciate what those feet are doing. Wrap your band around both feet in the arch of your foot, please. And I just want you to just manipulate, so try and keep those heels down and just manipulate those feet to turn up slightly. So this is really nice. If you have any trouble reaching for your toes, get a nice straight posture. I just want you to hold it here. So this is a really nice option. You can work on your posture. At the same time, draw those shoulder blades back. Open that chest out whilst turning those feet up. If you've got a, quite a loose band, you want to might just take this onto the ball of the foot. If you've got particularly bendy feet like I have. Okay. I've probably picked the worst band for this this morning because this one's really lax. Just pull that through that foot. If you're not feeling anything on the band, then I want you to reach forward for your toes. You've got the flexibility there. Take the hand over the toes, lower the head. Straighten that back. Push those hips backwards. Pull those toes towards you. So just where you try and manipulate those hips to go back, push out into that bottom and pulling through those toes, straightening that back. You're just deepening that stretch. Bring yourself down to a lying position. Take those legs up. Get your band. So those of you that said you can't fold yourself in half, use your band. Pull those legs forward. So it just gives you a little bit more room to play with. Put your band. I'm a bit fussy with bands. I feel like this one's going to ping and snap, actually. So you've got straight legs. If you're opening out that lower back, can you take those legs a bit further? Open that back right up. So this is really good then, as I say, if there's not the same range of movement there, to be able to pull those legs over, using a band just helps aid with that. You can resist the band. Think about pushing against it, again, to just deepen that stretch. You might want to use quite a sturdy band for this. Soften at those knees. Use your band to protect you, to protect you, to support you. Take that opposite arm away and just use that band to just support those legs as you roll over. Try and keep that core connection. I'm gone. <laughs> so you can then focus on bringing those knees up a little bit higher. You could extend those legs. You can't see my legs anymore, but I've still got the band on. I'm using that band to just pull them out straight. Bend the legs. Roll yourself back into center. Take it long, pull them back.
deep breath and as you exhale, just see if you can take those legs a bit further. Get this all into that lower back to point those toes to deepen the stretch. Don't lock at the knee. Change hand with that band, bring those legs back in. Supporting your arm down, soften those knees. Roll yourself over. I can't limp for my legs, I haven't got enough room. <laughs> limp for those legs. Use that band to pull them up. Bend the legs. Roll yourself back in. Take those legs along again. It's very cold on this wooden floor. Soften those knees. Take the feet down to the floor. Tuck that chin in. Roll yourself up. Let me come back onto my mat. Nice tall posture at the top. Just take a nice roll down through that back. Take the body long, reach those fingers away, stretch through those toes. Bring those feet back in. You don't need your band anymore. Arms come back over. Hands rest on their side. Tuck their chin back in and just gently roll up. Come back into your seated position. Roll those knees to the side. Use that hand for support. Bring the other hand in. Push yourself up onto your knees. Roll back onto those toes. Push that weight back into those heels and hold it here. So similar to what we were doing over there where we had our heels on the floor and we used the stair gate for support <laughs> or a chair or sofa or whatever. We haven't got our heels on the floor this time so that weight is driving those heels down from our bottoms. Lengthen the legs, exhale. Soften the knees and roll yourself back. Well done, everybody. Thanks for joining me for Stretch today. It'll be a slightly longer one than usual. Sorry about that. A little bit carried away as normal. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, though. Have a fantastic weekend.